All right, so right now, right now, uh, we are gonna go over all the different formats at Summit. Uh, people that have followed the different Smash Summits, uh, Ultimate Summit included as well, know that Summit have done quite a few different formats over the years. And I wanted to go over all five of them. I'm pretty sure I haven't forgotten uh, any of them. Uh, I want to go over the five formats, talk a little bit about uh, pros and cons of each system, and then talk which ones I think are the best suited for Summit specifically. Uh, and also maybe encourage people to, you know, think of new systems uh, that Summit can use in the future. So, yeah, that's what, what, what we're gonna start with. Uh, the first system uh, we're gonna talk about is Double Elimination Brackets. Uh, this one, very standard, you know, for uh, for tournaments, uh, you know, like we see this at like every major, they do bracket pools, and then yeah, so basically giving everyone two chances. Uh, normally, I'm a big, big fan of this format because it's as fair as as fair as it gets. Uh, but for Summit, like okay. We can uh, type down pros. Very fair. Yeah, it's a very fair system. Like, everyone have two chances, and then that's it, right? But the con, like, the cons of this format for Summit specifically, I would say is that it's very bad for the viewers. Uh, and some people might wonder, oh, why is this, uh, why is this system bad for the viewers uh, if we use it for every tournament? And the thing is, I would say for normal tournaments, it's very good because you have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of players. But at Summit, you only have 16 players, right? And a lot of these people get voted into Summit as well. And that means that people spend a lot of money to see, you know, one of their favorite players go to Summit. So if they go 0-2, it's not like you really get that much value for the money, so I would say it's uh, it's pretty bad for viewers uh, with a double elimination bracket. Because I feel like with Summit you need a combination of a fair system for the competitors, but you also need a system that gives quite a bit to the viewers as well. I don't feel like you can push it too much for the fairness for the competitors or the viewers. like. I personally feel like you kind of need to find a middle ground for uh, for uh, Summit specifically. So yeah, double elimination bracket is extreme in both regards. Very fair to the competitors, very bad slash unfair for the viewers, especially the ones spending a lot of money to make sure that Summit is, you know, happening. Uh, oops. Uh, oh. Yeah, so very bad for the viewers. That's one of the formats. Uh, another one they have done is round robin, uh, round robin pools. Uh, when they had this, they had four people per pool. Everyone play against each other, and then after everyone have played against each other, you have, uh, you know. You count the score, who won the most sets, if it's equal sets, then you count like wins and losses and stuff. Uh, this format, this format, it does give more matches, it does give more matches than uh, the double elimination bracket because you play three sets in pools and then even if you end up in losers, you get at least one more. So you get minimum four sets instead of minimum two sets. So it is an advantage compared to double elimination bracket that you get more matches in this format. But the big disadvantage is uh, three-way ties. Three-way ties are incredibly likely with round robin. And people might wonder like, oh, what do you mean? So basically what often happens, and this is why this system round robin pools have been trash for years. And uh, I actually encouraged TOs like many years ago to stop with this shitty format, which thankfully uh, they did. But basically what happens is that you very often have one player that beats all the other players. And then the other remaining three players, 
they kind of like in a rock paper scissor fashion beats each other and then you will have someone get second third and fourth seed based on how many games they dropped not sets because they all dropped two sets each and one one in this case uh so yeah it's gonna be a huge difference in terms of seeding on a three-way tie like some tournaments back in the day two people advanced from the pool and the rest was out so a three-way tie could be you know the difference between making it out of pools and getting last in your pool at summit everyone do advance so it's not as bad but it's still bad you can also have a scenario where someone loses all their sets they're going 0-3 and the remaining three players, they go two and one. So then you're gonna have a first, second, and third seed based on a three-way tie. Awful system, awful system. Uh, this system is probably my least favorite. I've never been a fan of round robin pools. Uh, like, if you have a bunch of people, like eight people or whatever, and then four make it out, at the very least, like, I would say three-way ties are normally not as crucial, but still, uh, yeah, pools, pools like this, not a good system. Uh, not for Summit, not for any tournament. And then after that, after that, we can go over uh, bracket pools, which is something they did uh, at, like, one or two of the earlier Summits. Uh... Similar to round robin pools, but three-way ties can't happen here. Uh, basically, I remember one of my pools. I played infinite numbers. Then I played the winner of West Bowls and Lucky. Uh, and then the, the thing they did that was good with the bracket pools, because some people might be like, oh, but will you not play the same person twice? Uh, the, the way they did it at that or those summits when they had bracket pools was that in order to prevent rematches from happening, uh, you played against someone from a different pool. So that was very good. I think this is one of the better systems for Summit. Uh, you don't get the most amount of games, uh, but you do prevent three-way ties. And uh, yeah, you, you prevent the three-way ties and you get a little bit more matches than uh, the double elimination system. Uh, so bracket pools, I think worked out kind of nice i probably do not support the system of like top seeds picking their opponents i think that's a little bit too brutal and a little bit too much of an advantage uh, i feel like already having a high seed is a huge advantage in itself and i think picking your opponent a little bit too brutal a little bit too brutal but overall i do like the bracket pools i think they were pretty good and uh, probably among the better system uh, use at summit not my favorite i think but among the better so you can say like decent amount of games decent amount of games uh, like it's pretty fair towards both uh competitors slash viewers uh I guess the disadvantage is like you don't get an absurd amount of games. Uh, uh, what else do we have? All right, so we have the Swiss Swiss that they used at I think it was Smash Summit six and seven and uh, Ultimate Summit. So this this one. Uh, might might be my favorite for summit specifically uh the way they did it at summit six seven and ultimate summit was that everyone got to play three sets regardless of score you played three sets so everyone that won their first set they played against someone else that had won a set and then if you won two sets you played against the only remaining player uh that also had 2-0 and then vice versa if you lost a set you played against someone that lost a set so you always played against someone with the same set counts as you uh, as you have. What I prefer with this Swiss system over the one they did at the very last Smash Summit is that people did end up in losers. Uh, so in this system, we do get 
quite a lot of matches. You get minimum four sets, three in Swiss, and then at least one in losers. So you get minimum four sets. So that's still a pretty decent amount of games. Uh, and the main difference between this Swiss system and what they use at Summit 8 is that the one they use at Summit 8, I feel like a bunch of the games didn't really matter. So this one gives four sets minimum. So that's good. Uh, this system means matches matter more. And it also a huge priority uh, on this Swiss system was uh, no repeats on matches. Uh, well, the thing is, like, of course, if upsets happens and someone go very far, like unexpectedly, of course, a repeat can happen. It was just that for a repeat match to happen, stuff had to like upsets had to happen. If we compare this with the Summit Eight system. Uh, Repeat matches happened a lot. Yeah, happened a lot. We saw uh, Triff Insane played it twice. Ginger Wizzy played twice. Uh, it was like another one or two two matchups, I think. None in uh, Dreffen played twice. I probably forgot about like some of them as well. And no, I'm not counting like Axe Wizzy playing in Grants and stuff. I'm talking more about the early stages. Uh, of the tournament. So repeat matches happened a lot and a lot of games a lot of games uh, did not matter much like unlike in the the previous like previous Swiss system uh, Where matches mattered more here. I feel like a lot of matches didn't really matter too much if you went 3-0 or 2-1 winning the two first sets and then losing you got to skip uh, matches up to winter quarters so that's like you know a pretty pretty nice advantage you get rewarded for you know doing good in pools but if you went 2-1 not winning your two first sets like say you lost one and then won twice or you won once then lost and then won then you did start like you could still place 13th like I'll take Triff as an example here because that's the best example that uh, I remember on top of my head so basically what happened was that Triff, he lost to Plop, then he beat Ginger and Sane. And at that point he could still get 13th. Uh, he could still get 13th. So if he lost against IBDW, his first round of winners, he would have been 2-2 and played for not getting 13th. So I feel like this system allows for someone that went 2-2 to play against someone that is 0-4 to play for 13 and some people say that oh this system was very good because it gained more matches but I honestly think this was the worst format of them all uh, like yes like this system is like pretty much on the opposite end of where the double uh, elimination bracket is this one is very fair to the competitors but very unfair for the viewers, for Summit specifically, while this one is very unfair for the competitors and uh, I guess, you know, viewer friendly. Uh, so yeah, the Summit 8 system and the double elimination bracket are the two most extreme ones. The two most extreme ones. I would still rank the Summit 8 system as the worst because I feel like if you were gonna go that extreme, now, then you gotta give it to the competitors. Uh, so I would say the Summit 8 system was the worst. I'm happy they have like tested out different systems, but I really hope to not see the Summit 8 system again. I, I got like quite mad seeing all these repeated matches and so many matches that didn't really matter. Uh, that was very disappointing to see actually. Uh, double elimination bracket I also hope do not return because as I said, I think the viewers deserves more. Uh, round robin pools. Three-way ties, way too much of a disadvantage. So it comes down to one of these two systems. Uh, bracket pools or uh, the Swiss system they used at Summit 6-7 and the Ultimate Summit. Uh, I think these two are pretty good middle grounds. Uh, they give... They give like, you know, pretty big focus on both the competitors and the viewers. They might not be the most perfect for the competitors or the viewers, but they give us uh, 
a pretty good middle ground between decent amount of games uh, and uh, fairness for the competitors. So uh, I'll say these two systems are the best. I'm not gonna say they're without flaws. Uh, like a lot of things when it comes to like pool play and like based on how you place in your Swiss pool or uh, bracket pool or whatever, you're gonna get a certain spot in the bracket. And of course, if you play last, sometimes, oh, if I lose here, I will be in winners, but get an easier, an easier opponent. In regular sports, they prevent a lot of these things from happening by having everyone play at the same time. That's not really possible at Summit. So it's not like these systems will come without flaws, but I think these are the two best systems that Summit have been coming up with. So if someone asked me what system would I uh, encourage Summit to use again, if, unless they you know come up with a new system, then I would say one of these. I would say these two are acceptable and the other three are bad. And I, I actually do not hope we get to see the return of any of the other three. Uh, and no, I'm not trying to shit on Summit. I love Summit. Summit is one of my favorite events ever and they do a fantastic job. But in terms of formats, one of these two. Uh, but I also, as I said earlier, I do encourage people to try to think about new formats that could be possible that they haven't used yet. Uh, because I think at the end of the day, everyone just wants what's the best, right? Uh, but yeah, please let me know what formats do you guys prefer for Summit specifically. Like, I know Double Elimination Bracket is popular, but I think most people would agree that for Summit specifically, it's not a good format. Uh, but yeah, please let me know uh, what formats you prefer, which ones you do not prefer, and why.